The following is from volume 5 of my zine, Catfish, which I wrote in high school. My school presidential campaign is the title. It was written about when I ran for president of the junior class, which would have been during the 95-96 school year. I graduated in 1997. Ever since my sophomore year, I was toying with the idea of running for class president, but my junior year was when I actually took some action. My reasons in sophomore year of wanting to run were mainly pretty superficial, like it would look good on a college application. But during my junior year, I had better reasons. I wanted to take a leadership role. I wanted to have control over activities our class did. Most of the fundraising activities are rather boring. Also, I wanted to be in a position to influence my classmates, especially on political matters. I also wanted to be able to be in a good position to fight non-libertarian decisions by our school board. I wanted to help change some of our school's rotten policies. Like we had weighted grades for honor classes, but our court abolished them. So our class of 97 is the last class to have these weighted grades. As a hard-working student, I view this decision as highly unfair, to say the least. I wanted to change things. I wanted the power. And since I have an unorthodox personality and views, I wanted to initiate some of my ideas. Well, to put it gently, I got carried away. This was the only election in our class. All the other officer holders were unchallenged. My opponent, Becky, was this one girl who was a prep, but very nice. She a, was a girlfriend of a 20-year-older who was a brother of a cross-country teammate of mine. I did run with her brother her boyfriend for a year though. She also ran cross country with me for a year, but ironically, this teammate, Ryan, wanted me to beat her. Too bad he was a senior because he couldn't vote for me. A lot of sophomores would have voted for me too if they could. She did a good job, but I felt I could do a lot better. My campaigning was cool. I got real wild with my posters. Political slogans were rampant. Like on one, I said the advancement of civilization is inversely proportional to its numbers of laws. The poster caused me and my cross-country coach to have an argument. Perhaps I do recant this statement a little. It's unclear to what type of advancement I meant. And these variables must be isolated to be true indicators. Other slogans were walk away from the government and the government should be walked away from. Blatantly ignored the orders of government officials and the two-party system. And I quoted some of Metallica's Injustice for All song. I printed a lot of posters in computer programming class since I had a lot of time and access to a computer and printer. Some posters I printed at home. But my school-made ones were a lot better and much better clip art and fonts. But where I really got carried away was with the speech. Now in retrospect, now that I'm reading this, I don't think I got carried away. I believe I'm just saying that because of reaction to other people. People said I was acting like I was running for president of the U.S. They were right, and as you will see, this caused a big stir, stir, especially the part about legalizing drugs, which I felt earned me a lot of votes. But the ironic thing was, some of the drug dealers who want drugs to be legalized don't realize that it would be detrimental to them, not beneficial. My friend thought it was funny, the whole thing. I figured that she would get most of the prep votes and the honor student votes, and I'd get most of the others. Even though I was in a lot of honor classes, I don't relate that well to these kids. What stunk about this year was we had to videotape our speeches for replay back in English classes. All the other years, the speeches were live. I like live speeches because you can't be stopped from what you are saying. And you can rile your classmates up a lot. Besides, it's so exciting being live and all. But I probably would have gotten real nervous though, so maybe it was good. I did a great job with the orating. I could actually watch it. Usually when I'm taped, I can't stand to view it. But this time I watched with pleasure. I was fearful of being suppressed because of my radical views, but they let me go through with my speech. That's why live speeches are better. If you say something, they can't change it. I wish her good luck before the voting. Later the next day, I found out she won over the intercom. One kid in our cross-country team said they probably fixed the voting. It did sound like I was getting a lot of votes, so I was kind of shocked when I lost. A lot of people said most of their class voted for me, but the, drug but the drug legalizing got me most of the votes, probably, and like I said, created a big stir. But I don't know if they did fix the voting. I'm sure it's a possibility, after all, anything is possible, but I didn't make an issue of it. 
I took my defeat fair and square. I congratulated her and shook her hand. I wanted to maintain integrity that a lot of politicians don't have. This did help my popularity. I got attention I never got before. And people came up to me and said they supported me and thought I was doing a good thing. She barely campaigned. She didn't have to. All she did was write a short speech. She was an incumbent and also very popular. So I knew that I had to do something drastic to win. But the best thing was that I really believed in what I was saying. I didn't say it just to get votes. It would have been so cool to be president. I knew I would have been a better chance of vice president, but the kid who was vice president was a cross-country teammate of mine. and was also very popular. I didn't want to run against a teammate. It would have split up the team. But most of the juniors of our cross-country team, one consequently good friend with Becky, voted for me. See, the team bond is hard to break. Teammates stick together. The disappointing thing was that I can't run against it. I'll be senior next year. On my posters and speech, I used a lot of words which people didn't understand. I would have made a longer speech, but our student advisor said people get bored after two or three minutes. They probably would have, but maybe they wouldn't. I just think of all the cool things I could have done. Wow. Below is my speech, what I was planning to read. I did change a few minor things when we taped it, but nothing too major. Here it is. Let's be frank. My main concern in running for office is not about prom and homecoming. Sure, these things, these are nice things, but I want to do more. I want to make radical reform to our school and ultimately our government, maybe even society. I will shun past conventions and false dogmas. I will set a precedence by using common sense, liberty, and freedom. I view oppressive government as my enemy. I believe government has caused us unjust defied and undeserved oppression. I believe self-responsibility and self-government should be initiated opposed to more government. Government causes war, economic crisis, crises, racial disputes, misery, and hurt. Our government should be reduced and rearranged. I want to legalize drugs and welfare, eliminate government intervention in business affairs and the military draft, get the government out of radio, TV, and the press. I want to end taxes, which is pretty much stating what those libertarian cards the world's smallest political quiz say almost verbatim from them I do however believe with freedom comes responsibility I believe the fewer laws the society has the more advanced the society's civilization is government schools are merely puppets for the government government schools are not to provide us with an education they are there to brainwash us into blind allegiance to the state they teach conformity mediocrity and false ideas its goal is to not produce free thinkers. Its goal is to produce mindless dupes who are called good citizens. Don't get me wrong. There are many good people involved in public education, but they are simply misled. Teachers don't realize what they are doing except government teachers. They know the in and out of government yet still teach falsehoods, misrepresentations, and lies. A privatization of our school system with voluntary funding would be my ultimate goal. I want government to answer for its immoral actions. I also believe both capitalism and communism are terrible economic systems. Both inevitably lead to oppression. The only difference between the two is where the oppression is being exerted and the derivation of the oppression. Government does more harm than good. You may ask what I would do towards these goals as president. First, I would fight poor decisions by the school board. I would stand up for liberty and morality. I would look for any ways to make a more libertarian government than I could. Because I so strongly support and cherish freedom of speech, one thing I would really like to do as president would be to establish a forum for political dissidents. In this forum, any person from any political persuasion would be given a chance to speak, including but not limited to communists, Nazis, populists, conservatives, liberals, and even anarchists. This open discussion would be beneficial to all parties involved. If you share my vision, please give me a vote.